hi guys so today i'm gonna show you how to get your curly clippings looking right and the best part about today's video no leave out no leave out say it again no leave out if there's one thing about me a no leave out style gets me every single time okay so I wanted to show my nails to give you guys a little bit of encouragement, okay? I was able to do these cornrows with my nails this long. So if you don't have any nails, sis, you better get your cornrows right and tight. So today's video is sponsored by Curls Queen. They sent me their curly clippings. So the hair that I got sent was the Water Jerry Curly Clipping Hair Extensions, 3C-4A, 20 inches. And y'all, all you need is one pack. Trust me, one pack is more than enough and um i got the seamless weft not the classic but i'm sure that you can get away with using the classics the only thing about the seamless is that they create more of a flatter look and they're really suitable for all types of hair whereas the classic wefts are more so suitable for medium to thick hair so now we're ready to begin so as you guys can see the bottom of our head is obviously smaller than the top so the first track that i grab is going to be one of the smaller tracks it's going to be the one with four clips you're going to insert the clip in fully into the corn roll and then you are going to clip it in and you got to make sure you hear that that snap okay that means that the clip-in is all set and secure and as you guys can see, after one track, this hair was given thick. She thick. Because, wow, why does it look like I have like two to three tracks in my head, not just one? That's crazy. This is what I like. This is what I like. Let me get my money's worth. So now we're going to go in with clip number two. And as you guys can see, this is going to be a longer clip because as we move towards the middle of our head, our head is bigger. Now we are moving up to track number three and the same rules apply. Make sure that your clipping is securely into your braid and make sure you hear that crack to make sure that the clippings ain't falling out. Three, three, this is only three clips. Yo, the thickness on these clippings is insane. So insane. I don't remember clippings ever being this thick. <laughs> I really don't remember clippings ever being this thick. So as we move up, we may run out of the larger tracks. And remember, you guys can always put two clip-ins side by side. Like you can always put a three clip-in and a two clip-in together to make one five. Just a little tip, okay? But um, anyways, as we move towards the top, you guys can see that the hair is getting fuller and fuller. Tip, make sure you leave space in between your clips, okay? It does not have to be so close together because remember, it's so thick. Okay, so for the most part, we have the back all set and done. Now we're going to focus on the front. So this is where we grab the really tiny, smaller clips and we use them to shape our front. As you guys can see, I'm laying them in a different direction than how we did our back. That's because I'm laying them in a way to where there is a part. So I'm just making my way towards the middle or well towards the side that I'm going to do the parting on. And I'm just making sure that all the clips are laying flat. I'm making sure that there's no clips on top of each other. I'm making sure that the clips are in tight. I'm just making sure that everything is nice and flat. Okay, because with clippings, you want to make sure that everything is inside the braid. Because one thing I hate is when I have clippings and they're coming out, it's like, bro, stay in. So yeah, you want to make sure that that's going on with you too so to do this method this is how the top part of your hair needs to look okay and boom this is the finished look with no water no knotting and as you guys can see the clippings are clipping baby they are so thick and to believe i still have clippings left over why do i have clippings left over and my hair looks this big why why this is crazy this is what i like to see we love to see it curls queen we love to see it thank you thank you all right, guys, so I'm going to show you guys how I do the crochet method. So first, you want to grab your crochet needle and you want to put it through the braid. Then you want to grab a piece of curl from your clippings and you want to attach it to the needle. Once the latch is closed, you are going to pull the needle with the curl through the braid and then boom, that's how you do the no leave out method. It's literally like crocheting your clippings into itself, if that makes sense. So I grabbed my spray bottle and I just started spraying it. 
the best brush to use on your curls is the tangle teaser like the tangle teaser is great on everything your real hair your fake hair probably your cat hair and dog hair because the way this brush just eats i know it works so me. because i love you guys so so much the video is not gonna end here i'm actually gonna show you guys how to do this bomb half up half down so if you're interested keep on watching okay so i already started with my hair split in half and the top part of my hair and a small bun and the bottom of my hair corn road okay this is how you're gonna need your hair to look for the half up half down style before we did the clip-ins i did it off camera because i know it's really simple and easy okay just gel your hair into a bun get cornrows in the back and you're good to go now what i'm gonna do is just add my clips like normal remember how i told you guys to measure out the back of your head and then add clips according to size yeah that's exactly what i'm doing okay i'm just adding my clips as i go just to fill up the bottom portion of my hair I already spoke to y'all about the thickness of this hair. It is so thick. So literally, I only needed about three or four tracks to basically get the bottom of my hair looking thick, looking full, looking fed. So don't worry. You will definitely have enough clips to do this look. You won't have clips left over again. That's how full this hair is. Now we are making our way to the top. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a track. We're going to use the longer tracks first. And then when those are done and we need more tracks for fullness, we're going to then use the shorter ones. What I'm doing is I am clipping it to the base of my ponytail. And if it can't fit into your ponytail for some reason, then you want to clip it as close to your ponytail as possible. Then I'm going to wrap it around my ponytail and then use a bobby pin to pin it. After that's pinned, we're going to just keep grabbing tracks and pinning them as close to the base of the bun as possible. Just keep clipping and just keep clipping and just keep clipping. The more clips you add, the fuller your hair is. Okay, don't be afraid to use a good amount of clips for this hairstyle. Because remember, when we wet it, it's going to lose a lot of its volume. So don't be shocked. Don't be shy if it's coming out too poofy. Because once you add that water, it gets super, super, super tamed down. So uh, the thing about me is I grab Kanekalon braiding hair. And I use that to wrap around the base of my ponytail to create that concealed look. I don't use the curly hair. Um, I like using Kanekalon hair because I think it's just better to use an outside source of hair for the wrapping as opposed to going into your ponytail and then grabbing curly hair to do the wrapping around the bun because, I don't know, it's just cleaner that way. I feel like I like it better that way, so do it that way. <laughs> And then, yeah, this is the final look. As you guys can see, everything is super concealed. And all I have to do is just wet my hair to get my hair looking poppy. And yes, ma'am, this is it. The half up, half down look is so cute. And it's super easy. And it's just a really cute style. Because, like, with clip-ins, you don't always have to have everything down all the time. Like, mix and match. There's so many different styles, so many different things, so many different ways you can rock your clips. So yeah, let me know down below which style you like better and which one you want to try. Toodles!